weekends are ideal for shopping, enjoying a relaxed lunch, or touring the city's parks. We've curated a list of the best things to do on a day trip to Utrecht from Amsterdam, since we know that most travellers can't afford to spend multiple days exploring nightlife along Utrecht's canals or shopping till you drop. We've also provided a link to all Utrecht travel essentials in the description below. Utrecht is very well connected by railway to Amsterdam and other European cities, because it is virtually the geographical centre of the Netherlands. As mentioned, a direct journey aboard an intercity train from Amsterdam to Utrecht takes about 30 minutes. Aside from public transport, you could also arrive in Utrecht in a rented car. Let's now explore some of the exciting things to do in Utrecht. Things to do in Utrecht number seven, which is also number one, the old streets of downtown Utrecht. Just a few steps out of Utrecht's central station, the Friedeberg Market might be the first thing you run into. It's a farmer's market that sells fresh produces like cheese, fish, fruits, and vegetables. You can also purchase light snacks and some clothing at the market. The market opens every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Moreover, a few pedestrian streets emerge onto Friedeberg Square, where you'll also find shops, boutiques, historic buildings, cafes, and restaurants in the area. Not to mention a nice view towards the must-visit Dontoren, an iconic 14th century tower we'll talk about later in this video. Things to do in Utrecht, number six, which is also number two. Confusing. Explore a castle. Castle de Haar is the Netherlands' largest castle and a fascinating place to visit. It is on the outskirts of Utrecht and is easily accessible by bus, car or bicycle. While here, you can tour the castle's preserved interiors. Furthermore, you can take in its beautiful rose gardens, moats and lakes, a romantic bridge and a sprawling park. Jaurland Castle is another you can visit. It is located north of the city along the Vech River. After paying to enter, you can explore the castle, take a stroll in its gardens and embark on a free audio tour you can access on your phone. Things to do in Utrecht, number five, which is also number three, confusing, climb the Domtoren. At 112 meters tall, the Domtoren, the cathedral tower, is the tallest church tower in the Netherlands. The tower is a treasured landmark of the city, only accessible via a guided tour on which you'll learn the tower's history as you climb the 465 stairs to the top. Here, you'll be rewarded with the best possible panoramic view of Utrecht. Domtoren was built in the 14th century as part of the Domkirk, a Gothic cathedral also known as St. Martin's Cathedral. However, the two monuments were separated in a 17th century catastrophe that we'll discuss shortly. Domtoren served as a belfry and a watchtower in the past. It's now a high, freestanding tower separated from the cathedral by Domplein Square. To climb the Domtoren and enjoy panoramic views of the city, you need to buy a ticket for a guided tour from its website. You can subscribe to this channel for tour guides that guarantee the best experiences at this destination. Things to do in Utrecht, number four, part one, visit a museum. Utrecht presents an impressive selection of museums which you can choose from depending on your interests and available time. First is the Railway Museum, located at the Meilebaan station in Utrecht. The museum has real coaches, locomotives, and a tech lab for kids to learn how trains operate. It also has model trains, an outdoor playground, and a mini railway that gives rides. If traveling with small children, consider visiting the Miffy Museum, inside the largest Centrale Museum in the heart of Utrecht. Dedicated to the popular cartoon rabbit character Miffy, or Nature, the museum is a collection of indoor playgrounds where kids can play and have fun in a practical learning environment. Centrale Museum, which houses the Miffy Museum, boasts a broad selection of traditional and contemporary artworks and displays Utrecht's arts, fashion and history. Moreover, its permanent exhibits include the Rietveld collection, with works from the world-famous Utrecht furniture designer and architect. Alternatively, you may visit the Spielklok Museum in the heart of Utrecht, which has a large collection of centuries-old musical boxes and clocks, street organs and even self-playing orchestras. Museum Spielklok is one of Utrecht's most popular museums for families with children, and you can explore the museum alone or opt for a guided tour. 30 minutes from Utrecht is the National Military Museum, where planes, tanks, armoured vehicles and other weaponry are displayed. If you wish to visit several museums and castles in the Netherlands, purchasing a Dutch museum card may be worthwhile. It grants you admission to hundreds of museums across the country and is valid for one year. You can buy these cards online or at any of the included museums. Things to do in Utrecht, visit Domkirk and Domplein. Also known as St. Martin's Cathedral, Domkirk is a Gothic cathedral, once the largest church in the Netherlands. 
St. Martin's Cathedral is the country's only pre-Reformation cathedral, with roots dating back to the 7th century. Since then, it has been rebuilt numerous times. On August 1, 1674, the nave connecting the church to the Dom Torum was destroyed when a freak tornado struck Utrecht. The violent winds flattened the church's nave, separating it from the tower. In place of the nave, the Dom Plain, or Dom Square, now connects Domkirk and Dom Torren. Another historical landmark on Dom Plain is the Utrecht University Hall. It is a neo-Renaissance building that serves as the university's ceremonial centre. It was built in the 15th century and is famous for being where the Union of Utrecht was signed, an event that birthed the Dutch Republic in 1579. While in Dom Plain, make it a point to visit its lovely 14th century courtyard, the Pandhof Domkirk an excellent place to rest or stroll. Located between Donkirk and University Hall, the meticulously designed gardens are surrounded by a medieval-style arcade and has a fountain in the middle. You can access the garden for free via an old gate from Domplain. Thanks to doing Utrecht's number two tour windmill. Marlen de Steyr is a functioning windmill near Utrecht Central Station and is open to the public every Saturday afternoon. Volunteers will lead you through the windmill, telling you about its history and explaining how it works. Molen de Rijn en Zorn is another beautiful windmill in Utrecht city centre to pass by and photograph, although it's no longer operational. Things to do in Utrecht, stroll along the Oudergracht. Flowing through the city centre and boasting some of the city's most scenic spots, the Oudergracht, meaning the Old Canal, is the most popular canal in Utrecht. Moreover, it's a popular dining area with lots of cafes and restaurants by the water. Along multiple stretches of the canal, you'll find outdoor seating areas and the city's signature wharf cellars. Oudergracht has high banks and underground tunnels built in to reduce the risk of flooding. Hence, there are multiple wharves and tunnels you won't see if you don't get down to the canal level. In those cellars are restaurants, bars, art galleries, and even people's homes. Things to do in Utrecht Finale. Beyond the tourist attractions and activities listed in this video, there are many more points of interest in Utrecht to see and many beautiful streets to walk. There are also more canals and green spaces for a picnic, a stroll, or quiet time. Regardless of what you do in Utrecht, rest assured you will certainly enjoy your visit. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other vids, like and subscribe, and check out our blog at veertravelers.com.